Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This idea was suggested to me in the comments of one of my last videos, and I've also been thinking of doing this for a while, so I figured, you know, if someone wanted to see it, I want to do it. Let's do it. And if you're wondering what that is, if you can't tell by my little friend Gloomy Bear and uh, my I See Stars shirt, I am going to give myself a makeover in my old scene style. I am all dressed and ready for this. You know, the shirt I dug through, I was going to go through my closet and we were going to like pick the best one, but as I've said, there's like no room in my room, so everything is in there and you don't want to see in there. I swear to God that is so embarrassing and that is why the door is always closed. So I picked out some stuff. I got my skinniest skinny jeans on. Um, I'm not as skinny as I would like to be for them and they are low rise. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad they're not in the shot because I look like twine baking around bread. I also pulled out my old studded belt from high school. I can't believe I still have this. This used to be like an everyday belt and I have lost quite a bit of weight since high school so it doesn't fit me anymore so it's gonna be like the hanging accent belt. If I get too far away from the camera you can't hear me because it's a cell phone. One day I will have a good camera and a mic but not today. But let me just show you like how uh, big this belt is on me now. So yeah, I can't even punch more holes in it because it will go to the studs. I used to wear it like about here, here on a skinny day, but now I can't wear it at all. So it's going to be like the whole hanging to the side thing that was cool back in the day. Now, obviously I'm not wearing any makeup. My hair's not done yet. I'm not wearing extensions. We're going to head over to my makeup vanity and we're going to do that together. And I'll show you the very disgusting way of how I used to do my makeup and my hair. Just an FYI, because it was very noticeable in my last video, and I'm sure it's going to be noticeable in this one. The volume of my voice in videos tends to vary by how close I am to my cell phone. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that until I get a mic. I'm looking at affordable ones, but right now we're working with what we got. Like I said, we are poor here. I don't have, like, that awesome, like, camera or a camera guy. I am just literally a bitch with her cell phone and her ring light tripod that she got from eBay for 10 bucks. Now I'm gonna do my makeup first just because the hair is like super extra and once the bangs are in place it's gonna be really hard to like do my forehead or everything but we're just gonna start there. Now please do not read me for this. I don't know why I kept this but we have like actual artifacts from the day. Like, I got my old eyelashes I used to wear. Yes, those are huge, and we are gonna wear them. Like, these, I don't think I barely wore them. They are, like, not that dirty, so hopefully nothing bad will happen. We don't want to go to the emergency room. And then we have my actual eyeshadows Whoa. I used to use. Like, these are Bloody Mary eyeshadows from Hot Topic from back in the day, and I was, like, so obsessed with these. I, like, did not want to use them because, like, oh, they were so amazing. So these are barely used and I like cannot bring myself to throw them away because they're a memory. Also got this. Used to wear this a lot. And then we have this guy and I used to just go in with the black eyeshadow and use that a lot. I also have this Wet n Wild that I got back in high school. Like this makeup is over a decade old. Um, this I don't think I really ever got a chance to use. I went through so much black eyeshadow, I would like buy it in advance so I could open it. So this is still pretty new and uh, hopefully will not give me pink eye. Like it's been used a little bit, but the design is still in there. So let's not get pink eye, okay? I have an even older black eyeshadow in there, but that is literally like 15 years old and I don't think I'm going to use that one. If you can't tell, my hair is super filthy. And greasy and I went swimming and didn't wash it but like that is like perfect condition to do seen hair and it's super itchy but you know I didn't wash it specifically for this and after this I'm probably gonna go shower because uh, you know old ass makeup and the way I used to apply my makeup was less than pleasant obviously I don't have the exact foundation I used to use but I'm gonna use this wet and wild like foundation. It's super pale. Um, I tanned a little so I haven't been using this. 
I used to use, I think it was like CoverGirl True Match. That's what I used in high school. And I would like pour it on my hand and rub it all over my face. And then I would go in with the CoverGirl True Match powder foundation and just cover with that. So we're going to try to get as close as we can. Now let's get started. So we're going to start off with the foundation. We're not using primer because that just was not a thing back then. Uh, there just wasn't primer. There might have been, but no one used it. I just click my bangs back real quick because we don't want to get those full of foundation because those are going to be like the centerpiece of our look today. Don't want to do this. Okay. So this is a like a spoon spatula thing in it. The foundation I used when I was younger did not though. So we, what we're going to do is we're just going to do it the old way. Like this. So I used to in the morning back in high school. I would just, oh, that's a lot. I guess that's what I used to do though, just glob it on my hand, emulsify it like lotion, and then do this. It's like how I used to do my makeup and it, ew. Eyelids, eyebrows, you just put it everywhere. Lips too, lips were not a cool thing back then. Like you wanna put on like you're wearing a mask. Don't bother really going down your chin or your neck because we didn't used to do that. Now I don't have the old powder foundation either, but I used to take this dry flat sponge out of there and just kind of pat over my makeup after I did my hands. So I'm just going to use this big uh, body sponge and pat that all over and just like make sure it's even. And now that we've done that, we're going to go over this with the pale powder. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild um, contouring palette and just use the fucking white pale highlight one out of there just because I never use that anymore. And we're just going to like put a shitload of it all over our fucking face. And then lastly for the face, we're going to add some dimension in the cheeks. So we're going to use the same palette and just like you know cake a brush i had like one brush that's it and just like like that just keep going doesn't matter if it looks good or you know gets everywhere we're not gonna put it anywhere else we don't need any other dimension in our face like Nose, we're gonna use flash in our pictures. No one's gonna be able to see our nose anyways. Noses weren't cool back in the day, so it doesn't matter. Next up is eyebrows. It was all about Jeffree Star back in the day. All the scene kids wanted to look like Jeffree Star and he had just like these pencil eyebrows, so I used to use just eyeliner. I don't wanna shave off my eyebrows for this. I actually didn't used to shave them, but I plucked them into super thin lines and then I would just fill them in. So these are a lot thicker than I used to have my eyebrows. We're just gonna go with it. And like, there's no uh, fading or anything. It's just lines. Like that. Are they even? No, who cares? Cause our bangs are gonna pretty much cover them up anyway. And now we're gonna do the eyes. Back in the day, eye brushes were not like a big commonly used thing. We had two tools. We had the finger, and then we had the spongy. I am actually impressed I had this because I have never used the spongy since then. Um, this was actually in one of my makeup revolution palettes and I've never used it. So I'm like surprised I didn't throw it away, but it's good for this video. What we're gonna start doing is finger in. Oh, this is actually super soft and like nice, even though it's like a decade old. We're just gonna put that all over our finger. Smack that onto the eyelid. It doesn't have to be even. No one cares. Gets everywhere, that's okay, cause we're gonna put some underneath too when we go in with the spongy. Now that we've got a base layer down with our finger, we're just going to go in and coat that spongy really good and start patting that on top. Sometimes if you want it really dark, you can draw all over your eyelid with eyeliner, but we're not going to do that today. We don't blend, so you just want like a perfect harsh circle. 
that was the look. And it won't, you want it to be like an actual fucking circle. And now we can go clean it up a little with our hands. Just a little bit. Maybe go over it with more foundation. More foundation will save it. Of course, we weren't complete savages. We still use Q-tips. Like, not perfectly, but we still used them. And then we're gonna go back in with the eyeliner that we just smashed all over our eyebrows. And we are just gonna go underneath. Get it tight line two. In your waterline. Then give yourself a nice cat eye. Of course, no outside wings that had not been invented yet. Just a nice cat eye. Just like that. Like, make it big. The bigger, the better. Because we use a lot of flash in our photos, and you want people to be able to see. There we go. Now, admittedly, by the time, like, I was, like, you know, getting internet popular, scene queen, I had gotten better at it, so my makeup was not like this, but this is how I used to do my makeup in high school when I, like, wanted to be really, really seen, so I'm just gonna do it like this. Because when I actually got good at being a scene queen, it was, like, I want to say, like, 2012, 2013. So, like, it wasn't even cool anymore, so I'm going for, like, you know, peak scene days, like, 2007 and shit. So this is how I did my makeup back then. And now that that's done, we'll do some mascara. You want to pump it really good, because uh, for some reason that's supposed to make it better, I guess, and then just fucking go clump that shit on. You want clumpy eyelashes because it makes it seem like you have bigger eyelashes. And if you get any on your eyelid, that's okay. Just leave it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really coming along. Then we go on the top and go downwards. I think you really want that crust going. Dude, no lie, like, I am really gonna need a shower after today's video. Uh, I am so uncomfortable, like, my eyes just feel, like, so heavy and, like, wet. Now while that dries, you're gonna put a little more foundation on your lips for good measure. Just cause... Big lips were not a thing, like all the big scene queens kind of had paper cut lips. So, uh, I'm not bleeding, that's black eyeshadow. So, you want to look like you have no fucking lips. Like, no lie, I got so bullied for the size of my lips. Like, it was ridiculous. And now, like, I get people accusing me of having lip injections when they used to make fun of me in high school for having big lips. Alright, I think these are ready to go on. My nose is just, like, full of powder. Ugh. Oh my god. I hope my boyfriend doesn't come home and see me like this, because he started dating me when I looked like this, and he's, like, gonna come home and be like, what the fuck? Their makeup is done. We're not gonna use setting spray, because that wasn't a thing yet. Um, but what we are gonna use, oh lord help me, is hairspray. Now, that's why we're all into skincare now, because we, like, fucked up our faces with fucking hairspray, because... I think this shit is, like, bad, bad. Like, I know use it for stage makeup and, like, dancers use it, but you should not be putting this shit on your face. All right, let's get this over with. <laughs> now that our face is done, we are going to do hair. And of course, it's seen hairs and seen hair without like a shitload of hair extensions. Obviously, these don't match my hair. These are back from when I had yellow hair, and like I'm just gonna leave them yellow because they're pretty, and I might do yellow hair again someday. 
That's okay. One of like the very common things with classic scene hair is your real hair would not match your extensions. Now this usually would be because your parents wouldn't let you dye your hair unnatural colors. So usually what people would do would dye their hair like black or blonde and then they would get extensions and color those. And then, you know, now people will like clip up the hair at the nape of their neck so they don't have like the weird strip right here where it's just short. But we didn't used to do that, so we're not gonna. So we're gonna do blue and yellow. Get this started, I'm gonna use some dry shampoo. That makes the tease better. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I've posted photos of me styling wigs and I always put in dry shampoo and that just makes it hold style better, I noticed. Also, I'm greasy, so that will help. Now, obviously my hair isn't straightened yet. We are going to do that after the extensions that are in because that's what I used to do. Probably a bad idea, especially straightening your hair when it's full of dry shampoo. That's probably why my hair would never grow past shoulder length and I had to wear extensions. Okay, we've got like our bottomless layer of hair down. We're just gonna tease it right at the root. Give it some more volume and that will help the extensions hold a little better. And then you're gonna take your longest row and stick them in. I'm not going to be cutting these today. I used to cut like bangs into mine and stuff, but generally with seeing hair, you did not cut your extensions at all. You had like just the helmet on top and then long unlayered hair on the bottom. Now that we've got those on the bottom, we're going to start going sideways. We're gonna go ahead and take the remaining smaller ones and just like pop them anywhere where it looks like you should could use some extra hair or to help blend. Yeah. You want like a huge amount of hair, it doesn't matter if you don't need it, you're gonna use all your hair extensions that you have. And just pop them in there. If your wefts are showing, that's okay, no one cares, they'll still like your hair. Then we always put a couple like behind the ears, try to hide that little short spot that for some reason we weren't clipping back. We want to hide it, but we don't want to put in that much effort. Just put it right behind the ears. And then we got our last little piece. Um, I think I'm gonna put it like right here. I think we could use a little bit more right there. We're gonna turn that straightener all the way up to 450 because who the fuck cares about our hair? We wanna look cool. But we're gonna pretend we do and we're gonna use some thermal spray anyway, just on the spots we're gonna hit. But we're not gonna go in there that well, just like a little bit and then, come on. This gets clogged because this is old. <laughs> okay. And then just like mash it through with your hands. We don't need to brush it through. And then we're gonna take a comb. We're gonna go and put our bangs into place. We're just gonna brush most of this forward. We're gonna straighten the crap out of that. Oh, my poor hair, this high heat. We're gonna do a deep conditioning treatment on you after this, I promise. Yep, we're only gonna straighten the bangs because that's what's important. Back of the head, no one sees it, so we don't care about it. But that's all done, we're gonna go back with the hairspray and start dousing those bangs. It's okay if you get on your face because we already have it all over our fucking face and we're sticky. <laughs> my poor hair, oh my god.
probably not going to do much more than that because most of my volume is in extensions and that's generally what I was going for. And I don't feel like teasing these extensions. Sometimes I would tease them, but here I'll do a little bit, but just a little. More hairspray. Yes, even more. <laughs> now we are going to go through this with the detangling brush and then we're going to be very fucking gentle and we're just only going to smooth out the top. Okay. You don't want like a defined part in your hair because that wasn't really a thing. You're kind of going for the comb over though where like most of it's to one side. And now one last dash of hairspray. Just a little bit more. And now that the hair is done, all we need is some jewelry. I kept a lot of my old scene jewelry just because, not gonna lie, I still like it. But a lot of the stuff you can still get, such as uh, we grabbed the sex bracelets. You can still get these at Party City, just so you know. Like, so we're gonna put these guys on my green ones. Those are like back from high school too. And then you're gonna wanna find something like cute, something with mustaches or something. I have my little robot girl, which yes, I also saved from high school. So we got robot girl. Then we got our silly bands. Then we're gonna wanna put on a band bracelet. And then we're gonna do a couple pieces of candy. Here's a small one. And yes, I used to make a lot of candy and I saved it all because I worked hard on it. So little one for that arm. And then we got our gloomy bear cuff. And now we need a big dangly bracelet. And lastly, we're just gonna pop on some fake jewelry because we really wanna be hardcore, but mom won't let us. What am I doing with my life, guys? I'm almost 30. And now the only thing left to do is have a photo shoot. <laughs> for today's video. I like hardcore need a shower now. Seriously, I have no idea how I'm gonna get all this fucking shit off. Ow. Well, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. Consider subscribing to my channel. If there's certain things you want me to do, let me know because uh, obviously I will do them. And please hit that bell icon. I upload every Tuesday and Saturday so you don't want to miss it. So thank you so much for watching this fuckery. I'm gonna go take a fucking shower and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye bye.